The Icebox Murders. In 1965, Fred and Edwina Rogers were living in Houston, along with their grown son Charles. The family mostly kept to themselves in their quiet neighborhood, especially given Charles' reclusive and antisocial behavior. In fact, many neighbors were not even aware that Charles lived at home with his parents because he left the house each day before dawn and didn't return until well after nightfall. When a family member hadn't heard from the Rogers in several days, he called the Houston police for a welfare check on his elderly aunt and uncle. The patrolmen were unable to locate Fred and Edwina, but they noticed food sitting on the dining room table. They opened the fridge and noticed numerous packages of meat neatly stacked atop one another. Then, they noticed two human heads in the vegetable bin. Additional officers arrived on the stomach-turning scene and slowly removed the packages full of dismembered body parts from the fridge. The remains were that of Fred and Edwina Rogers. The police deduced that Edwina had been brutally beaten and shot, while Fred suffered forceful trauma to the head. The couple's innards had been flushed down the toilet, Charles was nowhere to be found. Naturally, Charles was the prime suspect in this heinous crime. However, he seemed to have vanished off the face of the earth. Though the police were able to collect circumstantial pieces of evidence against him, Charles Rogers was never found. <laughs>